We're coming to the end of STAT 2.1x, which is a course in descriptive statistics, and you have seen regression as descriptive statistics describe the line that appears to go through this scatter diagram. But regression, which is the most commonly used method in applied statistics, I think, is very often not used as just a description. And what I'd like to do now is I would like to talk about the big picture of how regression is most commonly used in practice and how that links to what we are about to do in STAT 2.2x and STAT 2.3x, which are the next two courses in the sequence. It all starts with Taiki. Taiki. Who's Taiki? The goddess of fortune. Gotta love Taiki. She rules. Taiki knows all. And one of the things she knows is that there's a pair of variables x and y, and those two variables are perfectly linearly related. There is an exact straight line that connects those two variables. She happens to know what that straight line is. It's the blue one there. But unfortunately, the measurement system is not beautifully accurate. There's a little fuzz factor. And what happens is that we don't see the points exactly on the straight line. The points are lifted off the straight line by errors. Positive errors lift them up, negative errors lift them down. And in the end, we get a scatter of points rather than points perfectly on a straight line. Now, if we were Taiki, we wouldn't bother with the scatter. We would know the line exactly, but we're not Taiki. And Taiki is not making things convenient for us. She won't show us the blue line. What she shows us is that. Just the scatter diagram. She has generated it by taking her blue line and adding assorted random errors. And we, mere mortals, just get to see the net result. We don't get to see the blue line, and we don't get to see any individual error. We just get to see the sum of those two. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to identify that perfect linear relation between the two variables that we're studying. So what can we do? Well, we can take stat 2.1x, which you have very intelligently done, and so what do you know how to do? Well, if you have a scatter diagram, then you know how to put an excellent line through that scatter diagram. Exactly, you put the regression line through the observed scatter. And so, well, so the idea was to get at Tyche's blue line and what you're hoping is that your regression line is not that far from Tyche's blue line. It will typically not be exactly the same, but the hope is that it's close. And so why don't we put both the lines on the scatter and, you know, not bad. Yours is the green line, which you got by doing regression, which you have learned how to do in the previous section. And the blue line is what is called the true line that only Taiki knows. And you can see that they're not that far apart. They're very close in the center of the scatter diagram and they gradually flare away from each other as you get further out from the center. That's a very typical scenario. And so great, you don't have Taiki's line. You're going to use the regression line. Except that it's not so simple because you don't actually get to see the blue line. Today I am playing Taiki, and so I'm giving you the blue line, but normally you won't have it. What you will have is this. You'll have the scatter diagram and you'll have your line and you will want to know 
is your line close to Tyche's line that you can't see? Formally, the question is, is the regression line close to the true line? And the answer to that will depend on the nature of the randomness that she used to create all of these points. And so the assumptions of the model begin to matter. And these are questions now of inference. A long time ago, when we started out this class, well, five weeks seems like forever, um, I had said that inference is the science of drawing conclusions from random samples. And here you have a random scatter because Taiki created it by taking her line and adding random errors. And based on that, you have come up with one line. Of course, her scatter could have come out differently and then your line would have been a little bit different and her blue line is different yet again. So there is some mathematics to be done to figure out whether your line is close to hers. And that is one of the key questions that people try to answer when they are doing regression. Did we get close? And another question that comes up quite often is, if you look at that scatter diagram, that is surely showing a positive association. And so it looks like the variable y tends to go up as x tends to go up and so on. But you know, those points came from random errors about a line. And isn't it just possible that the actual line is flat? And that your errors just came out in such a way that the scatter diagram has acquired a slope that is spurious, it's false. It's a result of chance variation. It's possible. Now, given this slope here, it seems very hard to swallow that Tyche's underlying line should be flat, but that has a lot to do with the assumptions to do with her errors. So if you look at the question, is Tyche's line actually flat? And you ask yourself, why does anybody care? The reason to care is this. The scatter diagram that we are sh seeing is showing us a positive association. It's showing us that the two variables are linearly related. What if that really isn't true? What if there is no connection, no linear connection between those two variables? Then if we go around saying that there is one, we're making a mistake that could possibly be quite serious. So it is a good idea to first ascertain whether there is actually something going on, whether there is actually an association, or whether what we are seeing is just a result of randomness. And this kind of question is addressed by looking at the slope of our regression line and asking ourselves, well, could the slope of Tyche's line actually have been zero? And that kind of question is answered by uh, what is called a t-test, or at least that is one way of answering it. And as we progress to stat 2.2x, we will study randomness. And as we progress further to stat 2.3x, we'll study inference, how to make conclusions based on random samples. And one of the things we're going to learn how to do is a t-test. We might not do exactly this one, but at the end of STAT 2.3x, you will certainly have a pretty good handle on understanding what is happening with the standard regression calculations that you see coming out of computer packages and in journals and so on.